All right, so I had a question on what are the best reactor plugins and nodes and scripts that you should get. And I'll go over that right now. And so we open reactor. Hopefully you know how to do that. I'll link a video on how to install reactor and then my five favorite tools at the time. If you want to go check that out, but yeah, I'm just going to go over some of the nice stuff that I have. So we have all these different folders that linked to certain things and let's just start off. I don't use any of the bin ones, I believe. Oh, and I want a different computer. And that's why I'm going to install all the stuff that I usually would do. So I don't have anything in the bin folder. Let's see comps. I believe the VHS one is the only one that I have since it has Milo Labs VHS, but the way you kind of get to it is a little weird. And so I put it in my free pack. If you want to go download that on pgent.com, 100% free. I just took it out of the comp and made it easier for you guys to install it and put it into your macros folder. All right. Now we have the console. I don't think I use anything for the console. The docs haven't used anything from that. Bun other little comps or fun little macros and stuff. It's like the nine cat hockey's nudge play head. Don't use that. Cardiverse. I did use this for a certain one. I believe I used, I don't remember which tool, but it's in this video on the VR rotate sphere. Go get that card to VR node. So you might need to download card to VR, but I'm not going to do it right now because I don't remember which node I need. This will save a lot out that are more recent. So yeah, this is all Cardiverse. Yeah. Legacy. These are old nodes. Don't think I have any of those. Menace. Nope modifiers I believe i have wave and blip i haven't used blip yet but blip is like one that allows you to turn on a certain value at certain frames and you just have a big table that you can use to use that so i'll probably use blip and then i will also use wave which gives us a nice use of a wave for our modifiers so we can control our animation the way that we want and i think that's the only ones that i was interested in this one don't have anything resolve I think Resolve Essentials, I have a video going over what this does, and I think it's essential to working in Fusion. So for sure, install that, Resolve Essentials. Allows you access to the Fusion Hotkey Manager, allowing you to remap certain nodes to the keys on your keyboard in order to access them way easier. I think I put like Optical Flow on E, and put uh, R on the Time Stretcher, T for Transform, A for Merge. I think it comes default with X on Background, which is nice. A bunch of other ways you can just map your keys on your keyboard to nodes it makes it working with them much faster let's go to scripts now i probably have a couple of these let me just see if i have to remember which ones they are uh, one i've been using recently it's it is it's tool time this allows us to scan all the nodes that we have in our comp and it tells you which nodes are taking the most time to render that certain frame and then you could go over to that node and see if you, you really need the node in order to create the effect or you can change the settings on the node in order to make it render faster Especially if you have a large comp, you want to know all the render time you can get. Oh, as well as HOS Macro 2 Group, I have a video going over that as well. That allows us to turn groups into macros and macros into groups very easily without having to go and do it in a notepad, which is much more time consuming. Tool Color Script is a fun one. Don't really need it, but it allows you to change all of the colors of your nodes really easily. Next one I'm going to add is Vector Snapshot. Again, another video on showing you how to do it, use it. It tells you to turn images into vector images so you can edit them with points with it using masks. It's a very nice tool when doing some MoGraph. And just for good measure, I'm going to also select unlock comp in case a comp is locked and it can't do anything to it. A nice script that unlocks it for you so you can edit it. Let's go to shaders. I use kick -Ass shaders. They're both very good as well as shader toys. All these are really good. They have really interesting nodes if you'd like to go and look them up. kick -Ass shaders, I believe, has more of the 3D nodes that allows you to make nice 3D textures on your 3D objects. And then Shader Toys as well has some nice 2D nodes giving you some generators and other nice effects. All right, now that's done. Uh, I should probably do Shader Toys later. I'm just gonna do it right now. All right, next to testing. I don't use anything here. Now we have tools and this is where fun begins. Let's go down. I think I have advanced despill, but my labs shows it in his tutorial, which is very nice. I'm not gonna add that though. I'm gonna add audio waveform. That's a nice one that a lot of people know about. You put in a wave file and it makes an audio waveform based on that file. Very nice one to use. I'll have to give it to Defocus Gamma as being my favorite blur. So I love that node. Just put that Defocus Gamma into there. I also use the Echo node. Echo node is a nice one. It gives you nice better echoes than like a duplicate node, but it's a nice fuse that does that right for you. That one's really nice. We have Fast Expo Glow, which is a nice fast glow that runs super good. And then Fast Light Wrap as well by Milo Labs, which gives you a nice light wrap. Gradient Mapper would be one I use, but I use my own node, which is the practically the same thing, which is gives you a nice gradient map for your image. So either use that one or the free peach pack one. I don't know how Tyler's already in here, but Tyler, was a, Tyler is a pretty good one. Ah, render switch fuse. That's a nice one, allowing you to switch which input of a node you want to be rendered 
with the note, the note that they give you. And Smokey is one that uses it all the time in his edits when he cuts. So I also use it as well. You guys know Loop from my time blend tutorial. I add that as well. Then we have the Milo Labs tools, which are all pretty good. I'll probably get the Lighter app as well as the Fast Chroma and Twitch. Although it would give us a nice shake, it doesn't work in this version. I don't know why. He's updated. Yeah, the glitch tools are pretty cool as well as the Fractal Blocks is a nice way to have a different type of noise as well as other glitches as if we want that nudge was a cool tool when i started out it was almost like a smear but yeah i don't really use it as much as anymore nuke diffusion if you're if you're new to fusion and you're coming from nuke that gives you a bunch of nodes that are renamed into the nodes that are from so it's easier to search for tools if you know the nuke name instead of the actual davinci name but heads up on that one as well it also remaps certain nodes on your resolve essentials fusion hotkey manager so just be careful when you if you if you use that and you already have previous hotkeys set up there was in the past where i downloaded the time machine fuse it gives us a nice it's, a, it's an interesting one to play with it gives you different options to control time the intensity i believe is the other gradient map if you want to use that one i've been messing around with was the veroni diagram it gives us a nice little fuse it gives us a Veroni texture, which can be used for making other things. I think I was using it to test out if I can make a broken glass with that as well, using that as a map. So yeah, very interesting to use. We have the Notorious X Glow, as everyone, as a lot of other people use, thinking it's the best glow in Resolve. But if I have to give that to somebody, I would have to give it to Dream Glow by, by Escape Edits. That thing is really cool. If you want to go check that out. All right, I think those are all the nodes and anything here. Nope, I think that is all of it. It's all the important stuff I use on the Mac. Oh, I gotta say, lastly, if you are on Studio and you are on a version currently below 18.5, then you can also get Crocodile, which is has so many more tools that are great for just working around stuff. But these are only available for Fusion Studio and it's for standalone Fusion. So if you have standalone Fusion, you can use it right now, but for some reason they have not updated it to use on 18.5. So yeah, I would still try and install it. But right now they haven't updated it, so I can't even download it, sadly. But other than that, I think that's all of it. All right.